So here we are at the site of Mystery Diggins. Mystery Diggins number five. What's going on here, Nigel? Seven Fences, eh? Hey? Big empty spaces. Big empty spaces, like the inside of a bimbo's brain. So, I, I was chatting with Nigel, oh, they've left the tree look. And that picture there. I wonder if that's for ecological reasons. Maybe someone's going to tie themselves to it. Save the trees. Save the trees. We know who that would be, don't we? <laughs> anyway, moving on. So, listen, it's a hypothetical question. If you had unlimited money and you were going to build a drop zone in Europe, what would what would you want? I mean, you'd want you'd want an established drop zone already, wouldn't you? A turbine aircraft. Yeah. What else would you want? If you're, you know, like, hypothetically, if you're going to build a drop zone. Swimming pool. Swimming pool would be good. Uh, hangar. Hangar. <laughs> you don't say it, do you? Fucking chicken. <laughs> Come on, what, what would you put on a drop zone if you're going to build one? Bunkhouse. A bunkhouse. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Uh, Ideally, yeah. you want it near the mountains so that in the winter you can an hour away you can go skiing and snowboarding. That'd be good. That'd be good. On a holiday resort where you've got a beach, beach. you can do beach jumps and all them Town. kind of things. Yeah. What else would you want on Local a drop zone? Bars. What else would you want? DZ bar. Of course, we have a DZ bar. We, we do indeed. We do indeed. And an even to <laughs> <laughs> Hypothetically speaking, though, if you were going to design a drop zone, what else would you put on it? I guess you could put one of those. What's that then? Wind, wind things. What kind of a wind thing, Nigel? Thingy. Come on, say it, say it. A wind tunnel. A wind tunnel? <gasps> you didn't hear that from me, eh? <laughs> I got pressure, pressured into it. What else would you put on it, though? What, what about, um, what else would you might put on it? Uh, oh, Bedford's got one of those flow rider things. Oh, flow rider, that'd be surfing. good, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, a awesome, restaurant, man. they've got a restaurant at Bedford yeah. as well, mate. What about and, a, uh, a hotel with its own hotel. nightclub? That would be good, yeah. wouldn't it? A nightclub. Yeah, that'd be sweet. I mean, this is all... In case any lawyers watching, all hypothetically speaking, always yeah. suggesting it, but we were going to build our own drop zone. We'd have you know something similar to what Ampure Bravo's got now, but we'd add to it, you know, uh, uh, what do you call it? What are those things called again? Wind funnel. Tunnel. Uh, you see it again? <laughs> <laughs> you'd have one of them. You'd have a floor rider, maybe, a hotel with its own nightclub. And um, Restaurant, bar. restaurants and bars, like a mall kind of, you know, when you go to an airport, you've got all the shops and bars, that kind of a scenario. That dancing nice. club. Yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> nightclub. Nightclub. <laughs> nightclub. <laughs> That's kind of what we, hypothetically, we must state. Legally, and a pile of bricks. Hypothetically, we must say that is what we would do if we were building a drop and zone. And a swoop pond. And a swoop pond. Ah, but we're not having a swoop pond, are we? We could have a swoop pond. Not like we're having the other things. No, we, no. we could have it. But there you go, just uh, for any legal, we must be quite serious about this. We're not suggesting that Scadder and Pure Bravo are building those things right now. That's just our idea of what we would do. <laughs> Isn't it, Nigel? <laughs> so, from the site of <laughs> Mystery Diggins, <laughs> we'll see you next time. Are we in trouble? Are we, are we, are we legal on that? <laughs> See ya. Yes.